Figure 4 shows a sketch of the curve C with equation y is equal to 5x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 9x plus 11, where x is positive. The point P with coordinates 415 lies on C, so point P is here, this is 415. And then line L is the tangent to C at point P. The region R, shown shaded in figure 4, is bounded by the curve C, the line L, and the y-axis. Show that the area of R is 24. So area of R is obviously this. So to start this off, we have to work out the equation of the tangent. So to do that, we want to differentiate. So consider y is equal to this, 5x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 9x plus 11. Differentiate this, and we end up with 15 over 2 x to the half minus 9. We want to work out the gradient of the curve at point P to work out the equation of the tangent, to work out the gradient of the tangent. So we then put in 4 into our differential, put it into this, and we end up with 15 over 2 times 2 minus 9, which is the same thing as 6. So our gradient is 6. We can then use the equation of a line, y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1, so y1 would be 15. So I'm using this coordinate here. y1 is 15, gradient is 6, and x1 would be 4. So I'll bring the 15 to the right. I'll first expand this out. So we'll get 6x minus 24, bring the 15 to the right, so plus 15. And then we end up with the equation of a line is y is equal to 6x minus 9. Okay, so we want to work out this area here, r. And it looks somewhat complex because you have an area here, we have a triangle here which we could potentially use, we have a triangle here which we could potentially use. But in these kinds of scenarios where you have two curves or a curve and a line or two lines and you want to work out the area in between them, there is quite a simple way of doing it where you don't have to break it up into individual shapes. So if we were to do the integral of the curve minus the integral of the line, that tells you the area in between. Even if you have some area beneath the x-axis like we do here, the method still works. So we just do integral of curve minus the integral of the line. So I'll write out the integral of the curve first of all. 5x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 9x plus 11. And then the limits for this would be the x-coordinate of this point, which is 0, and then the x-coordinate of this point, which is p. So between 0 and 4 is what we're integrating. And then we would take away the integral of the line. So the line is 6x minus 9. And the limits for this would also be 0 and 4. So this will give you the area r. That will be the answer. But before we evaluate this, let's just simplify it a little bit. Because we have the same limits, whenever you have the same limits for two integrals, you're adding together or subtracting, you can combine them to make one integral, which will make things a bit easier. So this is the same as the integral from 0 to 4 of 5x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 9x plus 11 minus the 6x minus 9. I'll put them in brackets just so it's easy to see we have our curve here, our line there. So we can then simplify the inside of this before we integrate. 5x, 3 over 2, so minus 9x minus 6x would be minus 15x. And then we have 11 minus minus 9, so 11 plus 9, which would be plus 20. And then we just integrate. So raise the power by 1, divide. So 5 divided by 5 over 2 would be just 2. So 15x squared over 2 plus 20x. Limits would be 4 and 0. Put in 4 into this, and we end up with 24. Put in 0, we get 0, obviously. And then the answer would be 24, which is what we were trying to show.